Hey, what's happening, everybody? How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Can you hear me? See me? Give me a five by five. Give me a, a fiver. Five by five. Give me a five by five. Ground fog. What's up, buddy? B shady. Remember the G ballers. What's up, bud? <laughs> Neil McKenzie kicking us off. Becoming a new member. Welcome back, brother. Welcome back to the G ballers. Add that in. Add that. Do that. El Cap, what's up, buddy? Member of the G Ballers. How's it going, brother? Brian Kerr, what's up, brother? Member of the G Baller Visionaires. How you doing, buddy? Marisol, member of the G Ballers. What's up, man? How's everybody doing? Torgon, what's up, buddy? Member of the G Ballers. Tactical Terry, what's up, dude? Came to pass gas and eat ass. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Mark, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. How you doing, brother? Is the uh, audio coming through good? Knives are life. What's up, man? It's hard to tell on my end. It looks, even when things look good, it uh, can sometimes be wonky. Bye bye, member of the G Ballers. What's up, buddy? Yo. Hey man, I was I was early. I was I was on time, wasn't I? Close. I was close. I was here making sure everything was, you know. Everything was rolling. Bluminati. What's up, buddy? Member of the G Ballers. Coming in hot. <laughs> Can anybody even hear that when I do that dumb shit? <laughs> Bluminati coming in hot with five. Mark Ridgewall. Marco. Clarence. Ginger Fisher. Ember, all oh, getting gifted a membership from the boy Blue Minotti. Speaking of Blue Minotti, I was uh so today for the the members giveaway. Hey, that puts puts y'all really close. Puts y'all really close to uh, issuing stitches, Hank. But speaking of uh. Bluminati. We here. I was rooting through my box. I have a box that I keep stuff to give away. And uh, Kathleen, what's happening? Titanium Justin, member of the G Ballers. Mimo, member of the G Ballers. What's up? What's up? Jake Anderson, member of the G Ballers. What's up, buddy? I mean, member of the G Ballers. What's up? What's up? Um, yeah, new members or any members, make sure you go. It'll be the last. It should be the last posted video. It'll be the last members video. It says like Saturday stuff or something like that. Go leave a comment in that video. And we're giving away. An all but brand new Kubi Royal members. Kubi Royal, beautiful knife. And if we make it that far, 
we'll also have a second winner and give away the Kyrill from Sencut. Um, I was going to do like pick out four knives, but in the off chance that like the member who wins has to leave before the giveaway or they're, they're just not here today or whatever, um, it makes it tough to, to do that. You know what I mean? It's just even more stuff I got to try to do. So, but maybe we can adjust that and do something, you know, in the, in the future. <laughs> What? I am fucking... Doing what? Don't tag me, I hate this. Then is leave it, him out here. Is it bleeding? No, there's not even a mark, bud. You're fine. That's what you get for messing around with the big dog, bud. Never list, never learns. Never, ever learns. <laughs> Uh, Sativian, I do not much have experience with them. Uh, I've, a, I've had a couple. Have I? I've had a couple of their more affordable offerings, right? Uh, they're, they're like most of the other guys. Medlins, what's up, buddy? They're, they're like most of, you know, uh, I don't know what would you classify. They're kind of like Ganzo. Uh I don't know. You know, there's kind of a few companies that all kind of fall in the same category that do a pretty good job. <clears throat> um Sativian makes some more expensive knives though. Uh like 100 to 150. And I've heard they're pretty good. So, you know, if you see something you really like, pick it up, man. And then, you know, and especially if you get it off Amazon, if you get it and you don't like it, send it back. You get your money back. You know what I mean? I know people, I won't say names, but I know people who just buy knives off Amazon, try them out, and then if they like it enough, They'll keep it, and if they don't, just send it right back. You got to try out the knife. You didn't pay nothing for it, and now you gotta, you know, you gotta go through the the hassle of shipping it back or whatever. But hey, if you want to try out, that's a good way to try knives out for free, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it, it costs, but at the end of the day, not a huge a huge loss. Hey, Carco! Remember the G ballers coming in hot. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? Who got one? Who got one? Medlins, nice Sergio, nice Mikey J, Gator Aaron, Z Man, all getting memberships back. King Snake Jake, remember the G ballers? What's up, buddy? Migaron is a company that'll suck you in pretty good. Betty Davis, member of the G-Ballers. What's happening? James Alton, member of the G-Ballers. What's up, buddy? <clears throat> Any members who didn't see it? Um, oh, my God. You know what I found out, too? Is that... Uh, thank you, Carco. Love you, buddy. I appreciate it, man. And uh, Bluminati. Love you guys. I feel like I, the for the people who get things, I don't know. I need to do something special. I mean, I ring the bell and act like an idiot. Is that enough? Uh, Delaney, what up? So going back to... Bluminati, I found, so I kept one, which I have it right in the center there. You guys see it? So I kept that one. Bluminati sent a couple patches in, and we've given away what I thought was all of them. But at the very bottom of the box, underneath the tab, 
I found a brand new in the plastic Bluminati patch. So I was thinking, what would be a better way? Now it is the very last one. So I was thinking, we'll add it in today with the Kubi, uh, the 321 here, the Royal. But I ask if you would, if you win and you have a patch from him, if you don't, then good. Um, glad, glad to give it to you. If you have one though, maybe DSKFS it to somebody else who doesn't have one because they're awesome. They're really cool. Probably my favorite patch in the game. So we'll add that in uh, because of brother Carco and Bluminati will also be adding in a Hank to, so that'll be 14. We'll also be adding in and issuing Stitches Hank. So if we have a second winner, we're going to do the Kyrill. And I'll throw in something else, too, on top of the Kyrill. Probably another knife, another kind of like a more affordable. Yes, he is, Kathleen. He's a staple. My Journey, what's up, buddy? Homer, member of the G-Ballers. What's up, buddies? Buddies and brothers. Clarence Davis, coming in hot. <laughs> Thanks for the cold steel tie light and the Deadpool Hank. Yeah, buddy. No problem, man. Thank you for being a member here, man. Hey, that's my that's that's my way of giving giving back. It's my way of giving back. Try. It's it easily costs it depends on how much stuff I ship, but it could be anywhere from like 20 to 40 bucks. And that's like basic hundred dollar insurance. You know, that's like basic shipping and that's per week. So it, it, uh, it can get pretty expensive sometimes, you know, if you do it by the month could be like average of 120 bucks. Uh, Roughly, it could be a little more, could be a little less. It depends. You guys who live far away from me, it tends to cost a little bit more. But I'm happy to do it. Adventure Man, what's up, buddy? Member of the G Ballers, good to see you. Good to see you. Steven Weigel, what up? What up? Member of the G Ballers. Hopefully, you're landscaping at home and it's just easy. Well, landscaping is never easy, but hopefully it's uh, a nice flow. Chef Rocky, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. <clears throat> Good to see you, bud. Jim Miller, member of the G-Ballers. What's up, bud? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, so, did anyone go pick up a Jack Wolf uh, gunslinger? yesterday right i i did go over to traditional pocket knives probably i don't know it might have been like five six o'clock and i saw the purple was still there and i think ben is doing so he's not only has he increased the amount of retailers that he ships knives to but he's increased the amount as well. So <clears throat> there's a lot more. You know, you used to have to be, you had to be pretty quick with some of them, especially some of them. Uh, like their first run of the Gunslinger, I think they were gone very quickly. But uh, now they're kind of hanging around a little longer, uh, which is good for everybody because sometimes people like me, I can. Get on my phone for 10, 15 minutes or whatever 
well, I'm at work. No big deal. Some people, you know, but not always. Sometimes I miss stuff or I'm too late. You know, uh, like the V2 growlers that happened while I was at work. And if you're like 15 minutes late, sometimes you might as well forget about it. But uh, some people can't even have their phone, you know, while they're working or they certainly can't get it out of their pocket or whatever. So it makes it tough for some people, uh, you know, when they're during the day. I would like to see some of them drops move to, you know, like do 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. That way, even people on like the West Coast, not everybody will, but at least first shift, which is probably a majority of people. You know, at least those people will be out of work, you know, and have a little bit better chance. Be Shady got the purple. Yeah, that one looks really good. Um, Yeah, I hear that, Jim. Fook, what's up, buddy? Remember the G ballers? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I don't know, man. The purple looks good. It does. But I went with the, the gold matter. This thing is just beautiful stuff man the purple's definitely more showy and it has the dlc blade so that one does look good too but the the gold has a hand satin and then gold accented hardware it's this thing is just amazing looking and it goes carco a long while back uh i bought a uh mini tempest off of him and it's like all but the same gold matter so it goes together very very good very good g max what up dude good to see you good to see you been putting some hot lead down range with the ruger american gen 2 450 bush Damn, it's loud, rude, aggressive, wonderful piece of happiness. That's awesome, dude. Nice. Man, it's been a little bit since I've been shooting. <clears throat> the good thing about not shooting for a little while, though, and if you continue, now I kind of slacked over the winter, but that's because I didn't slack for a couple years straight, but if you if you go if you always replace so before I would go shoot I would go buy what I thought I would roughly shoot before I ever went and shot then that way you 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 basically just put up what you're going to use so you're not losing anything but then there you know there might be a week or there might be a week or two where you don't go or maybe even longer some you know a couple weeks but if you buy 50, 100 rounds a week, you know, or maybe even a little bit more, whatever, but 50, 100 rounds, that's 400 rounds a month you're putting away. And like during the winter time, let's be realistic. I'm not, you know, I like pew pews as much as the next guy, but I'm not out there laying in the snow, you know, training. I'm just not. So during the winter time, you can really, you know, if you stay focused and if you wait and search and as much as I like to support like local businesses, let's be realistic. If this place online has 500 rounds for $150 cheaper and it's the same ammo, you know, sorry, um, that's just the way it goes, but you can find good deals a lot of times at various retailers and, uh, you can really stack, stack up quick if you, uh, put your mind to it, you know, and it's not a bad investment. They, it never, you, it retains its value. That's one thing that will retain its value is ammo. Uh, not only could you sell it exactly what you paid for it, 
or more, you know, depending, or you could barter, you know, ammo is an awesome thing to, to stack up for sure. I love it. I always pull it out depending on what caliber it is, but I like to, uh, Ziploc everything, seal it up, throw a, uh, air packet in seal it up and then they go in ammo cans and i typically will do like 50 rounds or like 25 or it depends on the caliber but i break them down and then that way if i'm going shooting i can just grab one or two bags boom subtract it off my little list of inventory uh Jake, no, man, that's, I have not shot a 450 Bushmaster. Um, it's one, it's one I considered picking up a couple of times, but I got in this thing where I was sticking with like, I bought several nine millimeter platforms. I built a couple two, two, three, five, five, six platforms. And I kind of, I did, I did get a six and a half Creed more. Um, I got some oddball things that wasn't my normal, but I like to put stuff away if you get what I'm saying. So I designated like 22, nine millimeter, 223 or five, five, six. And then by 39 as kind of like my four calibers that I really honed in on. Um, but I do have some oddball ones, six and a half Grendel, six and a half, uh, Creed more. They're not really oddball anymore, but those two, I started kind of adding to the mix as like a secondary Joe Kasprick. What up, buddy? Member of the G ballers one moon. What's up, man? Member of the G ballers just popping in. Hell yeah, man. Thanks for swinging through, buddy. Yeah, One Moon, uh, Mimo or somebody, if you want to link, One Moon has uh, an Etsy store where he started putting up different, uh, different things, shirts and all that, you know, all kinds of different stuff. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind going out and uh, putting some, some rounds down range with a 450. That would be... Uh, realistically man if i had the money i'd love to get one of everything <laughs> but what video do we have to go through so if somebody wants to link it iron butter knife what's up buddy member of the g baller um it'll be the last members video guys anyone who just became a member or anyone who has been a member, it'll be the last, whoops, it'll be the last video, you know what I'm saying, it'll be, now you might have to refresh, like if you just became a member, or something, you might have to refresh your YouTube, but it should just, should automatically I did it again. It should automatically pop up. Let me see if I can put uh BNA Yo, what's up, brother? Remember the G ballers, baby. What's happening, buddy? Good to see you, man. So wait a minute. How Ah, uh, you'd think I would know how to do this. Okay. Boom. That should be right there. Oh, shit. No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, man. That's not it. Don't. Well, you can go watch that and comment on that, too, but that's not it. That was the Shrade video I just released. I guess I did have one come out afterwards. That's the one right there.
that should be right right there. Well, yeah, you can go watch that video. So only one person went and picked up a, a gunslinger. I think uh, uh, Needham did. I don't know if he's in here yet. I think Needham went and picked up a gunslinger. I know there's other people out there, but. Here, we'll just do Mimos because who knows if mine's even right. There we go. We'll just do that. We'll do that. What do we got to do for what? For what? Did you guys see anybody go see that Shrade video before the live? As I mess it up. This Shrade Truex, it's not bad. It's not, if I quit, quit screwing it up, it's not bad at all. Definitely needs some tweaks, but. It's a nice looking knife. I definitely would tweak the pocket pocket clip. Um, I forget what these run, but the S35 I think is fine. I think they should I don't know, but I think it's hard to tell, but this should definitely be titanium if it's not. And I think it should be titanium, but that's just my opinion. These bolsters here, I think they need to. So I think these have been out for a little bit now. This is the first time I am checking them out, but. They need to do a, like, version 2, a revision of these. You know, offer a new handle material or a secondary handle material, like my card up, carbon fiber, whatever. Do a titanium bolster with the crossbar lock. S35 is fine. Upgrade the steel if you, you know, if you wish. And then... I don't mind the deep carryness and I don't mind the clip, but I think there's a better way to, to offer it. And there's no way to mount for lefty. So <clears throat> maybe it's going behind the scale for mounting, you know, like a hidden screw thing, make it reversible. But they have a couple of designs that really have some good potential. I just think if they went back to the drawing board just a little bit, um, kind of revise some of their designs. They got some some good stuff going on. The uh, Radoc, that thing is a beast. Two hundred bucks. It's a little so as it sits. Even being USA made, because it is part of their alpha class. And uh, it's their USA line. Lone Star, what up, buddy? Carry the day. Cold Steel Voyager. Large. Just finished acid etching it. Nice. Dow, any over here wants it but my gripper is for sale with extra back spacer clip collar oh with an extra back spacer a clip a collar and patches 330 to your door there if you want a gripper delaney becoming a g-baller <laughs> Welcome to the G-Ballers. Welcome. Welcome. There, that's, uh, that's 15. We'll have to get the Hanks out. 
We'll have to get the Hanks, the Hanky Panky. I'm in EDC jail. How'd that happen? Joseph, what's up, buddy? I forgot my multi tool yesterday. Hey, man, that's why I keep a spare right in the truck or two. But the one don't leave my backpack. But I always keep a backup Leatherman right in my armrest console thing. I keep my old trusty wave in there. That way, if I do need something, boom, got it. I keep a whole extra and and then some, but I keep a whole EDC in my truck, like everything. That way, and some of it's in my visor. I got one of them Molly visors, and those are awesome, by the way. You get the right one, you can put a lot of crap right up there. Window breaker, flashlight, pen, marker, pencil, maybe an extra smaller knife. Uh, behind it, there's sleeves. You can throw a couple batteries for the flashlight or whatever. Um, what else do I have up there? Oh, a ferro rod, you know, extra lighter. They're awesome. And then in my console, I keep an extra lighter, multi tool knife you know and then that way if you forget something because you're in a rush that day or or whatever boom you got it you already got it in the vehicle gons what's up brother member of the g ballers what's up buddy ask Shrade to send you a slingshot lockback four inch oz 10a then you can give it to me after you review it okay i'll see if i can get one um so they they worked me through a bunch of folders and then I don't know for sure but it feels like they're they want me to start leaning into some of their fixed blades. They did send me that exertion which is nice, but they want me to get into checking out some of their fixed blades and like testing them out. They saw a couple of my testing videos I've done. But that doesn't mean they won't send it to me. What's it called? Shrade Slingshot. Okay. Is it still in production? Because if it's not in production, that's another thing on some of the fixed blades. They might still have stock of stuff that you see. But once that stock is gone, it's, it's going to be gone. They're not doing any more runs of certain knives. So... If the knife is being discontinued, they won't, he won't send it because there's no point. I left out my multi-tool this morning and needed it. Yep. See? And she admits it. See, that's, that's C. That's why you have an EDC. But, and then that one time you leave without it and think you don't need it. You know, whether it's a flashlight, a knife, or whatever. If you leave without a knife, my heart just skipped a beat. But you got, you know, that's why get a little, hell, even put it in a grocery bag or something. But you could put it somewhere. Or if you have 15 bucks, get yourself a Maxpedition pouch, a zipper pouch. Put some extra stuff in it. Even if you don't have a ton of stuff, you can put a knife, a flashlight, you know, a multi-tool, lighter. Put that all in there and put it in your vehicle under your seat or in your glove box or whatever, depending on where you live. Like I had people hounding me about my visor because I showed it in a video. I live in a very small town. Nobody is going to bother that stuff. Uh, I've had it for three or four years. Um, nobody's going to bother that stuff around here. Now, if you live somewhere that's questionable, those visors might not be the best idea, maybe. But you should still have like a little pouch or even a backpack. Put the stuff in a backpack 
And, you know, keep it in there. Jimbo! Oh! Jimbo! Jimbo! Jimbo gifted five memberships. Nick Travellini got one. Bro Guy got one. Bill Doyle. Bob Dakima. And Mr. Houston. All getting memberships. Hit him with your G ballers. Was into it for like 375 myself, all the back end, and fourth fuckery with him. Yeah, that might sell, man, to be honest with you. It might it might sell. Robo, remember the G ballers. Feel like I just ran ran out of the goods. Oh, I just outran the gods. As soon as I step back in the house. The bottom falls out and thunder starts. Ooh, so the storm just hit, huh? If my truck were to get robbed, like the whole thing or just the, the front part? Yeah, if somebody robbed my truck, they would be in a pretty good spot. Don, what's happening? Just up in like the cab area. They'd be good. But if they got into my truck bed through my cap and stuff, that's what I mean. I live in a, the most we have to like worry about around here is like high schoolers playing ding dong ditch and, you know, doing typical high schooler things, vandalizing stuff. Like that's what we, that's what's around here. And even that crap, a couple months back, must have been right before Christmas. Yeah, it was. It was right before Christmas. We had somebody, and luckily our kids were at the in-laws staying the night there. And we had somebody come up, hit our doorbell like 10 times, and pound on the door like hard. Like, harder than what a cop would do, or as hard as a cop. So I grabbed my AK and freaking, <laughs> I was on the other side of the house, and I heard it. I was like, what the hell? You know, it's 1130 or something, and I go out the, the, side, the front, you know, instead of going to the front door, I went around the side door, out the side of the house, and to the front. And whoever it was must have freaking cooked out of here. So, and I wasn't thinking at the time it's a high school or dicking around. You know, my mind went to somebody's trying to break into the house or something. <clears throat> but, yeah, that was funny. They haven't been back since. So maybe they saw me come outside with a rifle and... They were like, maybe we shouldn't do that anymore. I don't know. Milton, what's up, buddy? Member of the G-Ballers. What up? What up? A to B. Member of the G-Ballers. What's up, buddy? Good to see ya. Nice, Jake. Nice. Yep, I keep an old Leatherman Wave right in the truck. I can tell you that I have left. So I'll typically get my stuff ready the night before and I'll put it on my table here. And then when I'm leaving for work, I come to my table, get my wallet, my knives. If I don't already have them, like if I didn't, put them on my waistband to go to sleep which i do sometimes but there's been mornings where i was like rushed out the door i had everything sitting here and i thought i had my knives with me that's a great time i keep a little five banger knife thing i forget the company it might be is it we knives they did 
like a five banger knife carrying thing or whatever. I have like five knives in there and sitting in my truck. That way, if I, they're not like real nice ones, you know, I think there's a Kubi or two, a Damn Designs. Um, I think there's a Trivisa in there. Some like decent stuff, some okay stuff. Uh, but th that's when those come in awesome, you know, if you forget or have to hurry and you leave them or whatever. Once I hit, if I'm still in my little town here, I'll turn around. But once I hit the highway, I look down at my, my little knife case and I'm like, okay, I can at least get through the day. Usually I'm running late, if you guys could believe that. So, Spiderco Goddard in 4V and Victorinox Compact for Mimo. Nice. Nicey, nice. I carry my pouch every day. I have a thin one I carry on Sunday. I have a knife if I have my pants on. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, right, right. Kathleen, that's that's weird. Um, Michael McCoy, what up, buddy? Yeah, it's really nice here today too. Sun's out and it's not real hot. Probably what is it? Like mid fifties right now. Sun's blaring, so my kind of weather. Oh, I see. Well, Kathleen, that's when you get, do you have like a, a Gerber dime or what's the Leatherman that's really mini? Get one of them, you know, that way if you're wearing short shorts that day or something. I know it, it would be hard with uh, the spandex pants to, but you can always clip that on your waistband, you know. I wear sweatpants and shorts a lot, and I always have something clipped on my sweatpants, if not two or three or four. <laughs> a waistband in athletic pants, you'd be surprised how many knives you can put around that waistband and still function. Dwayne Letterman, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Member of the G-Ballers. Kevin Smith, member of the G-Ballers. What's up? What's up? Baby girl, member of the G-Ballers. What's happening? Damn, you guys are rolling. Yeah, in my... So I keep a Gerber, the the original Gerber suspension from like... It's probably been like closer to 15 years. I used to work at Gander Mountain way back and I bought it back then. Um, and that multi-tool, the original suspension is an awesome, awesome multi-tool and very comfortable in the hand. Not the NXT one. I have that too. And it's the more affordable version for a reason. It's all right, though, but uh, it don't have nothing on the original suspension. I keep that in my, my backpack in my truck, actually, over three or four or five different Leathermans that I have. Oh, nice, dude. That's a... That's a cool knife to to get on this nicey nice day. I don't get nervous leaving the house without a knife because my hands are registered weapons. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I see, Kathleen. It happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. 
PM2 and a buck trio for Michael McCoy. Nice. 72 and sunny in the PNW. Nice. Good, good, good. Well, somewhere it's raining. Thunderstorming. Microtech MSI in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Hanging some drywall with the nephew. Are you at your place, BNA? Or are you helping him? You're helping him do some stuff. More reported pews stolen from cars than homes for the first time. Oh, you mean last year? More reported stolen out of a car? Adventure Man coming in with four months. Anyone picked up an Onipe Roboto 4? Which one's that? Is that the... Oh, you're at your brother's. TKE, member of the G-Ballers. What up? What up? Yeah, that's exactly what it is here. Like 55. 55 and sunny. Um, uh, Urban Woodsman, member of the G-Ballers, what up? Yeah, it was really warm. Was it yesterday or the day before here? And then it cooled off. But I'll take like 50s, 60s, and the sun like this, like all year, pretty much. That would be, because then it's like, Warm enough that you can wear like a hoodie and some shorts or even you could wear pants. You know, you're in that weather where you can kind of wear a bunch of different stuff and it's not uncomfortable as hell. Holy smokes, dude. What do you, what do you got coming in, man? We need to, we need it. We need it. Let's go. What'd you get? Seventy-eight. Yeah, but you're in Florida, dude. You don't count. Neck at two o'clock, it could be thunderstorm in there. <laughs> Neil's got the Gerber suspension NXT, the Kubi Momentum, and a Springfield XD forty subcompact. Nice. Yeah, the NXT, and it could be just the one I bought, too. That has to be taken into consideration. But if you have them both side by side, you can tell how much went or how much the NXT kind of got let go on. You know, the, the original suspension is very comfortable and, and very easy user friendly but the nxt i got was like off-centered like the actual handles themselves so when it's closed one handle like passes the other side by like an eighth of an inch or so and it's it was real gritty it could have been just mine they you know didn't do so well on the QC with that one. I've had that one for a couple years. Yeah, that's well, maybe not by Memorial Day, but that's what we have to look forward to here, too. High 80s and 90s with humidity out the ass. I hate it. Yeah, you're right, Brian. Yeah, you're right, man. 56 in East Tennessee. Oh, you're in Georgia. That's right. You might as well live in Florida. For some reason, I always think you live in northern Florida, but you, you live in Georgia. Yeah, 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 I know. I forgot. 
I got the two year wrath today and the midnight jack in a slip. Ooh. I got a video coming on the wrath. Love this thing. Dave killed this design. That's this is Dave Warren's design. And he is the two you knives. He's the U.S. part of Two Your Knives, basically. He takes care of everything. Uh, and he's awesome. Awesome, dude. But this design that he has, whew, he knocked this thing out of the park. S90, satin, a beautiful satin. And then this one has the titanium with the uh, carbon fiber inlay he has a bunch of different models out there tuya is killing it and the midnight jack in a slip springfield xdm nine millimeter 19 round mag with black talons in the mag a duties dagger wallet a spider co 15v shaman and a qsp variant nice I'm still rocking my Craftsman Multi Tool I bought in 1990. Yeah, that's when they made stuff good. You know it? That's when uh, Craftsman was at the top of the game. Original. I have tools from like the early to mid 90s that I bought when I was a kid. I still have them to this day. Original suspension will take quarter inch socket for bits you mean like you can add that to it no earthquakes yet for a week here in turkey is that where you are or are you just visiting there 48 and cloudy occasional shower humidity and pollen is terrible yeah dude and that's Especially around here, there's farms everywhere, like all throughout this whole valley. And there's a certain time of year it gets horrible. And I have horrible allergies, too, to all that crap. Brian, what's up, brother? Member of the G Ballers? 70 and beautiful in South Carolina. 76 in Kansas. Incoming ABW Magnica, nice. Gail Bradley, nice. Kunmu Zen LMAX, nice. Steel Will, Spica, Spica, 154, and a Case Barlow, and a Remington Bullet Knife. Damn, dude. Mimo coming back with a vengeance, baby. Fourth generation Texan, no import in my blood. I want to get an ABW, but I don't know which one to get, and I, I haven't even been over there, but I need to get one at this point. Quartermaster, AL3, Cold Steel, 8015, Rough Rider, Classic, Carbon Stockman for Anthony Nice. Just Nate coming in with five smackers. Let me see if I can find it. Hit him with the G-Balls. Don got a membership. Beautiful Monster got a membership. Cody Campbell got a membership. Ken Shock. Floyd Miller. All getting memberships. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, brother man. Appreciate that. Hey, we got to change that. We got to change it. We at 20. What's up? What's up, Nate? And he's a member of the G-Ballers, too, baby. A G-baller 
giving G ballers. Ryan, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> yes, the members giveaway is posted at the top of the the chat, guys. And Mimo just put it in. So any members who just came in or members who got just got gifted one, make sure you go to that video, leave a comment. What's happening, Ryan? What you carrying, brother? Uh, my journey, you will someday, man. Believe me, I had been in the knife community for a while, a couple years probably. Probably close to two years until I won my first uh, giveaway. Oh, I might not be able to pull it up, Brian, on the computer. It might do that dumb crap where it says I might have to look at it on my phone. Yeah, not with that attitude. Now, you will someday, man, when you least expect it. Nothing. <clears throat> on my first giveaway yesterday so it can happen yeah it will the more you enter you know the more often you do it let me see if i can pull it up dude on the computer Oh, it is letting me. Okay. Hold on. If I pause it, that'll work, right? Ginger Fisher, remember the G-Ballers. What's up, buddy? Did I pause it? Dude, that's awesome. Dude, that's going to work out great, man. So he'll be able to make them for a variety of different, he can make them for smaller fixed blades all the way up to hatchets, dude. And for all different sizes too. So like a small fixie, you could do the EDC fixie um, and then so on all the way up. That is awesome, dude. Yeah, I definitely need to, uh, did, did, uh, he, did he send you some that would work on, he sent you some that would work on certain sheets, right? What did you win on your first giveaway? Boy, man, I don't know. Hmm. That's tough. I don't remember. That's been a couple of years ago. What did I win? I want to say it was from Big Red. Which Big Red has some awesome, awesome giveaways. I just want a Hank. I won one on here from G-Ball. K-1 
came about two months ago, one about a month ago on another channel and nothing yet. You mean you haven't won anything since the one a month ago? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it does. I don't enter many of them anymore, but it's still, it's exciting just to win something. Mini Sheepdog in Rafir. He makes them for splitting malls too. Yeah, so he could, all the rod holders I have now will fit on these sheets. Nice. Yeah, I definitely need to get something for something. Get one for something. QSP Hawk for Anthony. Kathleen, yes, as far as I have some of the... I could even... Yeah, and I could send you to one of their uh, digital media people, too. Why, are you having an issue with something? Jesse, what up? First ever win was on bees, a tigress, tigress. Yeah, I got one of those. That's nice. Big Red, Cold Steel, FRN Verdict. I'm trying to think of what knife it was. I won on JD's two nights ago. Oh, nice. MKM Tango and Savivi Valexium coming in for Michael. Nice. Now that's lucky right there. Yeah, I was in hundreds of live streams until I won my first one. Guarantee it. Hundreds. Damn. Big Red. I think I I don't think I've won anything from Zach, but Big Red, man, he has some awesome, awesome giveaways. Just like the whole package. Because he got, he usually sends sticker, like just a knife, a sticker, or stickers, and then maybe some other odds and ends. <laughs> Meaning I haven't got what I won a month ago. Oh. Huh. Have you tried reaching out? To the person. Yeah, it definitely might take me like a week or something, but I'm going to get it shipped out. It shouldn't. If it's been a month. You know. Probably should have shipped it by now. GV, what up, buddy? Kaiser Dogfish and the Bear Tactile Slip Joint. Nice. I need to get the, the slip joint out. I haven't carried that in a minute. I cleaned the motorcycle today, including re-waxing the chain, a daunting and meticulous chore. Then removed the old saddlebags, and now I got to put on the new bigger bags. Nice. You got some new bags, some new saddlebags. Glad you made it through, GB. Did you see the titanium Hank periodic symbol that Bees Blades had last night? No, I didn't see that.
Yeah, I need to get something. I mean, I I would have some some you know one of them would fit on something I have for sure. Sun cut sakshi, nice. From Ace on knives. Bees and a Squidward. How did you reach out to them? Was it Instagram or how? Palmer Connolly, member of the G-Ballers. What up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, eventually it, it happens. It comes around. Yep. Yeah, and then you can get gifted a a a win too. If Mimo wins the Powerball, the big Powerball today, he'll share it with everyone on JB's live tonight. He's not sharing the money, but he will let us all know that he won. Yeah. Yep, Michael, that's a crazy win. And I'll be, I'm done with it too. So you'll be happy to know. I'm sending you some extra goodies with it for making you wait a few extra days. I am done with it. It's actually all packaged up, ready to roll. That's a hell of a giveaway win. The best giveaway I've ever won, though, was a Instagram giveaway, and it was the EMP EDC giveaway. The two, a one-off Ronin and a one-off uh, Nimble T. And then a, a pouch, a Hank, a, a bunch of stuff. A shield and viper, huh? From uh, Elmer. Ooh, that's a nice one there. All good, Jesse. That's a that's a nice one to win there. Whoo! Blade Walker, what up, buddy? All good, man. I won a Midgard's tiny ox axe. From MC, the very next, the very next time he started doing the two knives thing. What was you in the Dr. Prepper uh, chat? Hmm. <laughs> First win was bees with a Kaiser Gemini. Mikey Reese, remember the G ballers? What up, buddy? I told you to uh, unsubscribe and then resubscribe and hit the thingy. Let me guess, you didn't do that. Wubin ain't worth the money, they just look cool. Through their contact at the bottom of the website and also Facebook. My next step is going through Amazon. Don't they have... Um, I don't have one of their boxes close, but I'm pretty sure they have like... A, I forget what their warranty is, but it should still be... Regardless, it should still be covered in the warranty top dog yeah top dog's awesome gotta go switch the laundry still lurking and carrying the kaiser sparrow from saturday knife live and jb 
Beefy Wiggy, what up? Some Pixie Sticks Herb. Nice. Craig, what up? What up? Midgard's Messer Junton. Nice. You won the Wubin X1? The big guy? I love that thing, dude. Oh, my. oh, nice. Where can I get a Microtech MSI pivot screw to replace my damaged one? Microtech will not send me one. Really? What? Boy, man, that's tough. I don't know. You would think they would send you a freaking pivot, wouldn't you? Halfway through my launch, no supervisors have shown up yet. Thanks. <laughs> then. Remember the G baller. What's up, buddy? D for the G. Oh, that starts. Okay. There are TVs off. Not too much trouble. Hmm. Uh, Joe, I'm going to try to go tomorrow. I mailed out like things. What is going on? I mailed out like four things the other day. Then I still have the other day. It'll go out probably tomorrow. Is shoot for? That's what I'm shooting for. <laughs> is it back for some reason all of a sudden now it's lag and it's been running fine all morning I'll stone it again And sent you a video of Clarence and Betty Davis custom I'm working on with this crazy glow composite. Is it back? Boy, I don't know if I want to risk uh, pulling Instagram up. I don't know why it does that. It. Hmm. Is it still hate? Oh. 
full bars, four bars. All this stuff just got out. Thank that. If it keeps cutting out, I have. I might have to restart, and we might have to re restart the stream, maybe. Clarence, I would love to, buddy, if I knew it wouldn't shut down my whole system here. I might be able to play it on my phone. Ron, what's up, buddy? Wonder if you'll be able to see it on my phone. So that's the glow in the dark composite that Brian he has uh access to. And he's gonna start making He's going to start putting that in certain stuff. Sergio, what's up, buddy? Member of the G-Ballers? Yeah, that stuff's cool, man. And it goes perfectly with uh, a fire starter. Especially for, especially for nighttime. You know, if you really need that in. I just got an e e EDC Nimble. Nice. Which one did you get? No, it's mine, Palmer. It shouldn't be, though, because, like I say, every time this happened, I got, uh, I got a direct line from my, my mode. Later, Melon. Uranium. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be good stuff, man. Yeah, you'll be happy with it. Okay. No, I didn't, but I think if I do that, I have to re... I think it might in the stream. And then I would have to redo, remake a whole new stream, all that crap. Which I might have to do if it keeps doing this. Angelo, member of the G Ballers. What up? What up? I wonder if I could add myself to the stream through my. Keep the live running. And read that stuff. I mean, I want beer, obviously, for a minute, but. I'd be able to do that. You got a nimble? What'd you get it on the secondary? It's a customer I meet. He's in Michigan. I am working on making me composite that light in daylight and glows in the dark. If it works, the Americanas will have a glow option. Wow. This stuff never. Um, 
Sergio. Or just need. Or some has to be.
Are we back? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Back? All right. Good. I might have to start using my phone instead of the, I can still use my computer, but I might have to use my phone from now on. It shouldn't be doing that crap though. It's a direct, it's a direct line. So it doesn't make, it don't make sense. 
Definitely check into streaming band and how to test for StreamYard. Check into JD, you have to hit me up on Instagram. You have to remember I'm uh I'm an idiot, so I don't know anything about how to do any of that stuff, dude. So let's while things are actually running smooth. Todd Carr, what's up, buddy? Member of the G Ballers. I'll get set up for so five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, I was gonna say we hit we hit. I just didn't change it. So we're gonna have two giveaways to run. So we got two giveaways to run. We'll do, <clears throat> we'll get set up for, yeah, JD, but shouldn't it, it shouldn't be happening anyway. If I have a direct line ran from my, my modem to my laptop, that shouldn't be happening, should it? Or at least you want you want think I guess, but hold on, let me get and then I redid my laptop. Oh, there's Brian. What up? What's up, dude? Not much, man. How's it going? Oh, going good, dude. You're sounding yeah. a lot better right now. It, it's coming in way clearer. It, whatever well, I, you did, seems like it fixed it. See, I typically will like restart my my little system here, but I don't typically restart the like pull the plug on the modem type of deal. But uh. When I pull the plug on the modem and let it sit for a second and then plug it back in, everything works so much faster. It's, but I don't get why you, you shouldn't have to do that, though. <laughs> I don't. What's up, everyone? Hey, Betty, Blade Walker, Palmer, James. What it Here's uh, I got to wait yet. This isn't fully cured, but. This will be a little better, but obviously I'm going to have to cut this down. But. And that's the bottom what layer. The bottom layer is the glow, and then he's got black and green. But so I made him this fob, kind of to hold on the striker that glows. Yeah, this thing's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I had some extra off the piece I was gluing up, and I ended up making this. So I'm going to have to have them choose which one they want. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So I figured out if I wet sand, it comes out a lot nicer. So even if they choose this one, I'm going to take it off and wet sand it down like I did this one. But you can see the difference. Look how this one looks like it's glowing more than this one because... Uh, once you put anything that stops light from going through it, a little bit of it won't absorb as much light unless you hit it with a flashlight or something. Yeah. So that's just from the wet sanding process. Yeah, I got it all smoothed out, polished. Yeah, that, look, that looks good. Yeah, that looks real good. So if they want this one, they can have this one instead, but... Yeah, I like that idea a lot. I hit this thing with a light and threw it in the toolbox uh, knife drawer, you know? Yeah. Went to bed, woke up in the morning. That thing was still, like, radiant. 
So no kidding. It holds. Yeah. And then if uh, BEDC is still in here, he's this is his. Ooh, I was gonna ask you: Are they getting you a? Are they getting a large from you? A um, they are getting. They're getting the classic size, like this one. This is. So the medium, the medium size, yeah. the yeah. is the classic. Ron, you can hit up Brian right here. He he makes them, man. He makes them. And then uh, from uh, my boy Cal at Surprise Holster Works, these things, dude. Yeah, I need, I need some. I need one of them. Then I, I need a the, couple. I need a couple. Of them. Barrel rod on the back. Yeah, that's money, dude. And then here's the the Gerber. Through uh, yeah. I had an Americana that the red. I heated it up too much. I was getting too ambitious, so the red popped off. I didn't want to try and reglue it, so that this one will cool, stay on. Yeah, I like it. it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just going to keep it as uh, mine on one of these. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like this, that. These Gerbers are kind of sweet because on top of being the hatchet, you uh, rip that off. Ah. Uh, Got a nice what's that, little wind What's off. that called? What's that? What's that axe called? It's one of the Gerbers. I'll have to find the model. Yeah. How's that? Have you used that saw any? It's all right. I mean, as a backup, you know, it's good for doing limbs and stuff like that. Save a little energy. But when I'm in the woods, this does probably 85%. Then uh, I usually carry a medium sized fixed blade with me. That'll do some. And then yeah. in my pocket knife. Yeah. You know that. Uh, you know that Raz Cliff I got? CRKT? Check out the oh, custom yeah. holster he made for that thing. Oh, that's the mini one. That's the, yeah. the mini Razzle or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I got yeah. the ulti clip on it so I can drop it in the pocket. But how I've got it on my uh, man purse, it goes right across the chest. Oh, uh, yeah. So when I got this thing on, I'm out. Got the keys and everything on there, but yeah, the 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 razzle or razel or whatever it's called, man. That knife is, I think, if we're talking u utility terms, that knife is overlooked by a mile because dude, I love it. All this glue and stuff, I so nice to scrape that crap off. Uh -oh, keep is that it nice. Is that Oh, there it goes. It, I don't know if it was you or me, but there was some some hesitation. Well, I don't know. Yeah, Lone Star, yeah, my wife calls that my man purse. Hey, that's all right, man. I I don't have I don't have something quite like that. Well, well it it I guess I didn't see it, but or the full size, but I have something pretty close that I carry with me everywhere. I have it right here, I think. Yeah, that might be pretty close, actually. Keep carabiners on it. I throw the keys on it. Got one of the uh, straps that I told you about on the side. This is a microfiber pouch in a bag. Magazines in case I need to do some reading. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, tool. That's a big uh, uh, big lighter in uh, this little carrier. A couple different flashlights, and then every all all the other goodies inside. Let alone what's in the back. Yeah, I mean, 
I see a spot for both, though, Marisol. You know what I mean? If you're just keeping a little bit of stuff with you, I can see the... I use the sling, but if I'm... It depends on what you're doing. You know what I mean? You don't want to carry a I can, backpack around if you're... I can draw my magazine uh, reader a lot faster out of this than you get out of any backpack. Yeah, that's the other thing. That's the same... Well, that's the same thing with this one is and that's not why i got this one this is mainly just for gear but if i ever did want to do that i don't have it set up that way but this has that quick deploy thing where you can just pull yeah. it down and then you can draw you know what i mean it's it's basically just a tab yeah. that's stitched on the inside and you can rip it down and and that, get to your i have those bags for my med packs so that because yeah. when you need them, you want to just rip it open. Yep, and get all everything. Like my eye packs and stuff like that are, are set up yeah. that way. But yeah, that's pretty much what I take with me as like my everyday bag type of a deal. I have a backpack that's always with me when I'm working. This is my, I'm not at work. I'm out in my own vehicle. Yeah. I kind of look, might get some looks carrying that thing around at work. I mean, I my truck, I pretty much, so my truck is everywhere I am. So I pretty much c consider that, you know, if, if I'm somewhere, my truck is, which means all the stuff in my truck is right there. You know what I mean? So I can always yeah. get to my truck wherever I'm at because my truck always goes to the job site, you know, so... I can be a little more lackadaisical with, with things, you know, because I always have my truck with me. That's where I keep a lot of stuff. So I, I'm able to kind of not take something with me from the house. If I am feeling lazy or I'm rushed out the door or whatever, I'm late, you know, and I just got to get in my truck and go. If I forget everything except my clothes, I'm still a hundred percent fine you know and i think a backpack is a is a must have in the vehicle i uh i think you've seen my rucksacks in the jeep yeah yeah I got, yeah i got that thing decked so dugan what's up man yeah mine's a a similar concept i have tools included in like the back in the bed of my truck uh but mine's a very similar similar that idea. Seat elite i did is my uh my favorite part yeah that is cool dude that's real cool yeah and that got me looking in my truck man and when i told you that one spot that i was telling you about i didn't realize that was there for months and months and months, dude, because right away when I got my truck, two seats, two toddler seats went right in the back. You know what I mean? It only was just the one day I pulled the seats out and was cleaning everything. And I realized, oh, you know, this lifts up. And sure enough, man, there was a, a storage spot under there. So I was like, oh, sweet. I put my e-tool in there. I put a... um. Uh, a canteen in there, a water purifier, just like some odds and ends. It's not a massive spot, you know what I mean? But you could definitely yeah. fit, if you did it right, you could fit some decent stuff in there. Um, and I thought that was the only one, but when we got talking, I went out and I pulled the other seat out and looked under there, and there's a, another damn uh, spot. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that spot yet. Yeah, I had that, you know, third row when the kids were younger, and it was necessary, you know, when mm -hmm. we'd all go places. And then as they got older, we never even put it up. Plus, it, you know, as they got bigger, no one wanted to sit back there because it was kind of like stadium. So it ended up just always being down, and then even the back seats were usually down because then it got to the point it was always me and the dogs in the Jeep. So I was like, 
filling it up with gear and then the dogs didn't have any damn room. So I was like, <laughs> I got to figure something out. And then plus it was adding up, you know, gear, the weight, everything else. Uh, I looked at it. Those seats I took out, that folding bench seat that I took out of there and made that compartment, that yeah. hidden, that seat weighs like 275 yeah. pounds or something. Yeah. So yeah. all that weight out of there alone, and then it got everything hidden and down into a compartment. Yeah, that's a money, money spot. That's a money spot. All right, JD, that sounds good, buddy. Yeah, I like that. Uh seat delete thing aries what's up buddy good to see you man yeah marisol i mean i i have to say i'm a i'm a backpack head too but i do see i have a couple slings sling packs as well um but yeah i like backpacks they're they're versatile they are more comfortable but but I see uh, that's why I have a sling because I you know I have a couple different ones now but I have one like yours almost maybe not identical but pretty damn close with like digi camo I think but then I got a couple just like uh, casual if you will casual sling packs that just kind of look like you know. You might be keeping a, a phone charger or something in there and or whatever. That's what it kind of looks like. Uh, but if I really I, wanted to I, bust out something, I'd get that one out. Did I ever show you the the one I have with the conversion kit in it for my M and P? Uh I don't remember I feel like you did i think you've seen it i think you i wouldn't did. show it on here they'd probably say it's a gun they but might not, yeah they would they would probably tag you they might there's no gun this. in it there's no gun in it but it's got enough features on it that they would say it just cracks me up because you, those things are all over in movies and it, it they they run around like they're submachine guns the thing in the movie, these guys are like firing full auto like it's a submachine gun. And it's a damn pistol brace conversion kit on a pistol. Right. I love when they do that crap. Yeah, you gotta love Hollywood, man. Oh, Palmer, that's a good idea, dude. Maybe not. I mean, the way I look at it is it don't have to be a any particular. I mean, you want to have a an idea for the bag but don't put a label on it it's not a survival bag or a get home bag or any of that crap just make it a bag that you can put stuff in that you know how to use that can help you in various situations you know what i mean just leave it at that i think we get too caught up in and all that stuff. Careful with putting your nicer stuff in there too, Palmer. Like, keep your Essie in a bag that you're dealing with or use often and put something like a Mora in your truck. It's more than capable. And if you lose it, it's, you know, 15 bucks. Yep. Yeah, I have a Mora. That's what is outside in like the cab of my truck. Moras are a good little fixie. Yeah, I do. I tend to keep I tend to keep most of my nice stuff here. I do have a couple nicer things in there because I've just acquired so much crap. I have moras everywhere. I have a couple of them ones with like the little mini pharaohs in the bottom. I forget which one that's called, but that one's a cool uh little setup too yeah it's housed, you can it's get, housed in, in the handle you can get the cheap uh carbon steel ones that'll in if you're worried about rusting take and boil some apple cider vinegar and when it gets to a boil pour it in a jar dip the blade in for a bit 
pull it out, clean it off, do it a couple, do it till it gets the darkness that you want. You won't get any rust. You just got to force patina on it, and then you can use the thing without worrying about it. So you said just, is it vinegar and water or just straight vinegar? Apple cider vinegar. And that's Boil it. No yep. I've got one. Let me go grab the one that's got the first forced patina on it that I did years ago. Sam, what's up, brother? Member of the G Ballers. Yeah, Moras are a fantastic fixed blade to pick up. I have a couple, uh, a couple different ones. But yeah, they're like Brian said, they're more than capable of. I mean, you won't want to go trying to baton those through a big ass log, but that's not really, you know, what they're for. So that one's got the patina I put on it a while ago. So you just dip it, wipe it, dip it, wipe it, dip it, wipe you it. You let it sit. You'll see the oxygen bubble start immediately and it goes up. It's not going to damage anything on this plastic or the rubber handle. Yeah. Really? But that patina was put on here probably five years ago. That looks good, too. It looks like an actual finish. Like it looks. So, same knife. Just you can see the difference when you. Yeah. Put the patina on it. Yeah, it looks like a. I guess that's really sort of what it is. I was going to say it looks kind of like an acid wash. That's kind of. Yeah, vinegar is acidic. So you're basically. It's a form of it, I guess. Yeah, it's a. Um, Brian, what's up, buddy? Member of the G Ballers. Uh, I don't. Marisol, I don't. The one I have that has the. I don't think the companion needs filed either. Those have a sharp spine on them. I mean, it doesn't hurt to hit it with a file to get it really sharp, but I think when push comes to shove, you'll be able to, right out of the packaging, uh, you should be able to hit a fire starter with it. Israeli bandages, these are good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to do it though, Marisol. I mean with with any one with any knife you would plan on doing that with, it just won't hurt, you know, to touch it up. Cause the sharper that striker is, the the better off you're gonna be for sure. Does that change the integrity of the steel though? Nope. I think it. I, I think it's I just. Haven't had any issues with it. I would think that's just more of a surface thing. It shouldn't affect anything. That's more of a it's, surface thing. Yeah, it's less of a. I'd say it's less invasive than when I do like an acid wash with like ferric chloride. You're not going to get as. It's you're basically doing an acid etch to it, but yeah. you're just not using as strong of a solution. You're using something that most people have around the house and it's easier to do. Yeah, it's not going to affect the chemical makeup of the the knife. But Tox I'm not a metallurgist, says, so maybe I'm yeah, wrong. Yeah, I don't, as far as I know, though, I don't... Like, even when they but, do them, like, DLCs and shit like that, you lose, like, an HRC or so, but it's still... You're still good. I, I don't think it... I think it'd be fine. This knife has been uh, serving me well for five years since I did it. So, right. If it did do something, it hasn't done anything noticeable. Todd Other than says, making it so my braid isn't rusting. Right, right. Cheapish multi-tool. More companion. Cheapish multi-tool. In each vehicle with some basic tools along with emergency kit 
fire extinguisher, hatchet, floating saw, candles, first aid. Good. Yeah, nice, dude. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I like have so it. many redundancies in this bag. I've found three multi-tools already. Right, right. Craig, what up, buddy? You will have to put a fresh edge on it. Aries says, it just forces a patina similar to acid etching the blade. It doesn't affect the integrity. Yeah, that, that makes sense. You do want to resharpen it though afterwards. Yeah, that's what he I that's what he was saying there. Uh, yeah, put a put a hundred percent. Same as you acid that you were gonna want to, unless you put. Uh, you could put like nail polish or something on your edge and maybe let it dry, and then do it, and that might protect the edge. But then you got to clean all the nail polish off, so it's just better off this. Yeah. Tone it back up. It does it's not like you you just gotta clean it up. Yeah, you might as well just you might as well just hit the edge after you finish your process. Or at least that's what I would do. Evil E, member of the G ballers. What's up, buddy? The acid etch prevents oxidation of the steel by creating a barrier from corrosive elements. Yep. Look at that bad boy, the one that started it all. The original. Doesn't even look like it's been used. Look at that. There's like <laughs> oh, dude. No. I was gonna ask you though, you can use them strikers in a multitude of ways, right? You can use the teeth end, you can use the square square edge. I usually I mean, use the square. Yeah. Uh, a lot of People use it like that. That's you what know, I thought. Bottle opener, but I was gonna say I typically I don't I, I've seen some people do with the, the teeth of the thing, but I've always done just the angle, but I the the teeth part does seem to sometimes generate more sparks. Um but I've never had any issues just doing I it used to the send these edge. ones out instead. But I like these better with the bottle opener and yeah. the little ruler on them. Especially yeah, if I take the cool. powder coat off, you can see the ruler better. But Right. Set the house on fire and piss off the wife. Yeah, I've gotten really. Uh, <laughs> I've been out here messing around. Now, luck, there is carpet out here, but luckily everything underneath of it's concrete. But I, I thought I was good, wild. and one of the sparks almost went into her tissue box right behind my phone. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. One of them sparks works their way somewhere. It might. It might get you. I sent one of the bees, and he was doing it on his live, and he's just sitting at his desk going, whoo, whoo, and I'm like, dude, you don't want to do that. Yeah, they're not a toy. The cans, cans bowl is awesome. I've never seen that. See you, Don. Thanks for swinging through. Make sure you comment on that video. I'm going to get ready to uh, pull it up here. If anybody wants a good light for their bag, like a survival bag, this is actually, I bought this for a bicycle. It comes with all the mounting to put it on a bike or a mini bike. I have a couple of them on one of my mini bikes so I can see at night. But uh, it, also, is a battery bank doubles, so you can charge out of your. Oh yeah. Way bright, and it's also got the uh, strobe, oh, or, yeah, and the SOS feature. So if you roadside, put this down, or even in the woods, 
and it'll continually send out the SOS. <laughs> what um what company's that? It's called Victogen. Victogen. I've never heard of them, and I just found it years ago when I was doing my mini bike build because I wanted to put a light on it. Yeah. And uh, and it comes with everything. It came with all the mounting to put it on a handlebar and everything. So I took that off the back. There's a bracket that you can hook everything on and then it clamps in. But I like it so much on that thing that I bought a couple extra and put them in bags. Is that an Amazon special? Yep. Yep. I'll send you the link. All right. Yeah. I'm interested. I like dull functioning things that work. Don gifted a membership, and I'm not pulled up on YouTube to see who it was. No, you don't, Palmer. Craig Vincent got it. Craig Vincent got a membership. Nice. I'm in a totally different thing. No, Palmer, members don't have to be here, brother. If you win, you'll know. You'll know. But yeah, if I need you to are get member, an open L. Do you have any open L's? No, dude, I don't. And I actually, um, I actually have a couple in my saved items thing in my Amazon. They actually have a couple cool models. Um, so they're really comfortable in hand. I had one, and I gifted it to a buddy that. A lot way back, but I've been looking at them again. Some of them, they have giant fuckers now, dude. They're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. like a pocket sword when you open that damn thing up. I forget what number it is, but I almost got one of them myself. I forget, I saw it somewhere and I was like, no way, I didn't know they made it, but yeah, it, it's huge. Um, what number is that? There's a they have numbers tied to each one. Yeah, they're each. all numbered the different sizes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they have numbers plus something else, which means it's like uh either a certain What's steel up, or a certain, certain handle material. Uh because they do a bunch of different stuff now. And I think I could have swore I even saw like a sheep's foot type one or worn clip one. Crispy Critter, member of the G Ballers. What's up, buddy? Dude, if they had yeah, a I mean, Chiefs footer or Warren Cliff, I'm I'm down for that. That'd be cool. I'm I I don't quote me on it, but I'm all I almost feel like there is something like that. Um it's open L number 13 Bluminati thinks. That sounds right because each number that they go up, uh they bigger. get quite a yeah, yeah, it gets quite a bit, uh, you know, an inch or two here, an inch or two there. But, yeah, there's a real common one. They're saying, like, eight, seven and eight or something. There's a couple yeah, of real talking, common ones. The, I think the eight's the most common one. And I. another reason I'm talking about it is now that we're at the new house, my wife's doing way more stuff outside. And she's constantly like, I need a knife, I need a knife. So I think I'm going to get her an open L. To put in her little gardening basket or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's easy to use. You just pull it out, twist the lock on, and then twist the lock, close it. So, yeah, that's a real... Craig Vincent it, said Cold Steel makes one that's like an open L on steroids. Really? Called the Twist Master. Cold Steel Twist Master. I might have to look. I might have to look that up. Yeah, sounds um, interesting. So, how can I? Well, I guess I won't do that. So, TZ EDC, let's cover that first. <laughs> Two months. Thanks for the great content, Greg. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you for all the support, my man. Do I have a spider Ooh, a to pill. call? No, I don't. I do not. 
that'd be perfect for the wife gardening if they have the hawk. They have a Jim Miller says there's a hawk bill open out. Yeah, that would be money for. That's what that is. Yeah. That's a user. That's a user shape, especially. I think that's why they created that for out in the garden, out in the field, type of crap. So yeah, that would be. That's a true, true user shape there. I wonder if that's what I'm thinking of. But th does anyone Illuminati know? Illuminati just have... posted a link to the Open L13. And they're not crazy expensive either. Like even, uh, I think the 13, they're not, you know, more than, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks or something. And that's for like the big, the big one, I'm pretty sure. Now they did start offering uh, different handle materials. So this big ass 13, I just went on the link that Bluminati put up is 135 bucks. Oh, is it? But well, I might, they I have might under 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 50, and above 50 are their price ranges. So there's lots of options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 13 is about 100 bucks. I didn't know it was that much. For some maybe that's the one I was looking at was like 40 or 50. Maybe I was looking at a 7 or something in a different handle material. The seven and eight are the most common. The twist master has been discontinued for years, but you can, you can find one. Kaleidoscope. What's up, buddy? Member of the G ballers. There's like a dark wood that you can, I still need to check out a bird. I they have a, a number holy... eight with black oak. Yes. How much is that one? 55. That might be the one I'm thinking of that. Was Dude, I guarantee you if you just got a regular one and took like a dark stain, you could just stain it up yourself to make it look almost identical. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, it's a damn wood handle, dude. Get some dark. <laughs> stain and just rub it on. It sand it uh, up a bit, scuff it with some like six hundred grit sandpaper, nice and how, open the how much? Up. How much is there? Is there a difference, or how much difference is there from the regular handle to the the plain handle? The biggest difference on that black one is they're actually giving you a black blade, coated blade, too. Now that I look oh. at it, that's pretty sweet. They must have and then added some stuff the twist, that I haven't seen. The twist pivot is black, too, so that's it, it's sharp looking. Then they have a picnic companion, and it's a uh, knife, open L knife, but it also has a spoon and fork attachment that pops onto it. And it comes in a pouch. Seen, That's kind of cool. I think I've seen that. They 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 do some crafty stuff, and there's a reason they've been around for as long as they have. You know. Oh, you can get them with a whistle on it. TZ EDC coming in with the six ninety nine G bala dala hala. A little bit towards shipping. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah I haven't looked at their site in a while, but they have everything now. They have so many different color options. They have purple, blue, red, black, yellow. Oh, well, blue. that explains that then, because they probably don't even have half of what they probably don't have half of what their inventory is on Amazon. So they probably have tons and tons of shit because that's the only place I really looked at them is on Amazon. And they have quite a selection all the way down. You know what? Um, that might be, it's not a sheep's foot. It was that little hawk's bill that is coming back to me now that I thought looked really cool. There's a little hawk's bill, which is what he must have been $19. It's the number seven. 
It's called the number seven scoring knife. And it's a tiny like sheep's foot hawk bill with a, Yeah. It's like a sheep's That's, foot with like just a slight bit of a hawk tip. Yeah, exactly. That's the one I have like at the top of my saved list. That that's one I'm saving for Things you know, only nineteen bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's gonna be made really, really well. So these uh they've got some now with that laminated birch handles those look pretty cool so it's like that layer you know how the gu- they've done some of those gun stocks and wood where it's like that laminated birch so you're getting different colors and the different layers they got that on the handle now oh so they're really so it's like red and black it's got later jimbo I'll be in touch if you win, man. That's the same for any members who aren't here, though. If you win and you're not here, it's not a huge deal. But we'll go ahead and no run. Way. It's 2.30 now. So, yeah, pretty much, Lone Star, you're right. That's probably partially the application for it. Camillus number one, or however you spell it, is a hawk bill. That's another company I've been wanting to check out. A couple other uh, selections, if you will. Camillus, they have a couple interesting uh, looking things. Dude, make note to check out the Open L number nine DIY folding utility knife. number it is a what it's a number it's number nine but i'm sure you got to add the diy folding utility because it's a it's got two bits in it it's got a bit driver in the end it's a sheep's foot i mean while my internet's running at full speed that's the one I'm getting. That went to the top of my list right there. Yeah, that thing's that's sweet. cool. So it's got a 3.15 inch blade, about six and three quarter overall. So that'll be a good like user size right there. Yeah, dude. And just having the bits on it, that's nice. So what does it have an integrated driver in the bottom? Look right. at the handle at the back bottom of the handle. You can see where the bit's going to go in. Right here. Yep. I think I definitely get the gray. I like the gray. Yeah, I I I didn't even look at the yellow. Ugh. That's no. I mean that ain't like <laughs> yellow bone. I mean, that's that's I funny. I love Ultim, but that 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 makes me sick right there. It really Explain reminds that. me of like a a fake a fake ass yellow bone handle. You know what I mean? The only place that would look good next to is next to my uh, banana magazines for my AK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't have much in the way of uh, bright yellow like that, anything. If you scroll through the pictures, they show it with the bits in. Oh, do they have? Go back to it, click on it, and then see the arrows? Click, uh, like, right, there you go. Oh, dude, that's money. You can't get much more useful than that. You got your cutting tool, and you can throw some common bits in there. Hell, you could even get them double-sided bits that they make. Yep, put a T6, T8 in there, and then you can use it to tighten down the pivots on your other knives. Yeah, yeah, and then keep, like, a... I'm sure they make a Phillips flathead combo. Maybe you could put one of them on the other, 
or can you is it hold two bits right or just one i, I thought it said one on when i'm looking at it holds one oh it says one inch standard which there's no so, way that's one inch Because oh, it shows have... multiple in the picture. They show a Phillips and the flathead. So I'm guessing on the other side of the handle, there's probably another. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, that there was a spot on each side. But I Yeah, if you keep going, there's two bits. So it shows both. Yeah. It's even got that nice little notcher there that do wires. Yeah, I saw that. So there's the right side of the knife. If you go to the end, it shows you everything. It has it all together, like encompassed. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, you could put four bits, technically, or heads, four heads in, in that thing and cover a lot. Yeah, if you find the double-sided, that'll fit in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool, yeah. man. I like that. <laughs> Just what I needed to do today. Find more knives that I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ones you didn't expect to to add yeah, right? to add to the. At list. least this is affordable. This is good. I, this is in the price range I want. This will probably bump up because I'm so broke right now. This will this will be in the ranges. Yeah, this one and the the knife itself is cool, but you add in the bit driver. You got. Uh, I like that quite a bit. That that would I like make the a color. nice. That gray color's nice. I like the blade yeah. shape a lot. Yeah. It might not iron butter knife. It might not. I don't know how that. You'd have to get the knife for. Or, yeah, you'd have to get the knife first, and then do some examining, because I don't know how they're held in there. It might work, if but you, it might uh, not either. I bet you if you didn't want that wire cutter, it'd be really easy to put an unsharpened, like grind that out and put an unsharpened finger soil in there Hair too soil. so you could get up and yeah. get into the cuts more. Dude, that's funny you say that. I was thinking that same thing. That's the first thing I thought, dude, when, I, when the picture popped up like this and I looked. I was like, huh, that'd look good with a finger soil there. My thing is I'm afraid because I put my finger, I have so many knives with troils and I choke up into that spot. I'm afraid I might freaking slice myself a couple times <laughs> if I didn't put one into it. Yeah, and that looks pretty sharp in there. Yeah, it'd probably only take one time to learn. Man, nine hundred bucks for that price by a Chinese-made multi-tool. You mean for the price of this one? I have a bunch of Chinese-made multi-tools, though, <laughs> so that don't help me, dude. I don't need any of this shit at all. It's gotten to the point where it's just ridiculous at this point you know what i mean like none of us need another multi-tool or another <laughs> knife <laughs> we're just all nuts i'm looking at these because my wife needs some knives i gotta get her an open them that's what that's yeah. why there we go exactly I can just pick up it. a couple of them pick up a couple because she'll need one you need a backup for her or... You know, Dude, they have a folding to... potato peeler. That is friggin' kick ass. That would take up way much, way less space in the drawer. Oh, Mimo put a little. To... I knew it was something like that. 
the numbers match up till seven. Then once, oh yeah, okay. The numbers match up to the blade length. I think he's saying. Yeah, the the number is a size, but they have all different. So like, I found another number nine I like, and it's the folding oyster knife. Yeah, yeah. That's it's the size that it's it's not the blade yeah. length. It's the the entire knife itself. Oh, they got folding saws too. I bet you those are good. Ooh, yeah. So they're really freaking. They have a number twelve and a number eighteen garden saw. We all just nuts. G ball twenty four. All right. Let's run. So we'll do, since we're doing two, why don't, since last weekend, I think we ran number two first, right? Why don't we run, we'll run number one. So the Kubi, the Hank, and uh, the Bluminati patch, and some other stuff. Uh, we'll do that one first. The first drawing here. Fred, what's up, buddy? Member of the G Ballers. All right. Let's do it up. This will be for the Kubi uh, Royal 321. And then we'll do the Send Cut Kyrill. Dude, those are both really good knives. Yeah, yeah, really good ones. Really, really good ones. It's hard to follow up an MSI and uh, a Ferrum Forge Archbishop, so <laughs> kind of just whatever. <laughs> it's uh, hard to follow those two things up. So we got 63 yeah. in there right, right now. You can tell it's Hold glowing on. and it's not even that dark in here. Can I switch it around? Oh, don't. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that stuff's awesome, dude. I'm going to have to. Now I'm going to have to get something like that from you. Because that's just. You know what I might have you do, man? Is make me a piece. Make me just a little piece. You know what I'm saying? A, a little tab. And just. I'll get that off you, and I'll put that with my striker. Yeah, something like that. Maybe just like a little, um, I wouldn't want it too, too thick or big. You know what I mean? Like maybe them top two layers thin. You know what I'm saying? For the tab for the striker. Yep. And then, and then. If you want to pre-drill it or I'll, I can either way. And then I'll run my striker through there with some paracord or something. And 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 have a striker on a, a paracord, a piece of paracord and that lanyard. Dude, this stuff is so luminous. When I drilled it, all the sawdust and the shavings from the drill bit were on the, the drill press. And I, I went out there later at night to grab something. And I can see all this shit glowing on my drill for us. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like looked every like, fiber. Uh, yeah, it looked like uh, some uh, gnomes or something were having a party in there with some uh, space dust. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Gon says, can you make a ferro rod in that material? I am making rod. one. Or I'm making the handle, not the actual rod. But this yeah, one, right? Once it will be. Yeah, fair. It's a uh, pharaoh, like a uh, old Egyptian pharaoh. Oh, but it's not. It's not spelled like that, though. The guy that I'm 
dealing with that's making this stuff. He's in Michigan. And uh, he made some 10-inch rods that are one inch thick of this stuff. And it they look wow. like damn lightsabers, dude. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool just to have one of those, though. Like, you know what I'm he, saying? Uh, he was telling me he it brought up. it up to the bar and had it at the like a local bar he goes to as like this mug club and they all know each other. And he had it up there and everybody was playing with it. And they kept turning the lights off in the bar because everybody and uh, he was getting ready to leave and he went in the back and all of a sudden he heard something like a loud noise and he came out and uh, someone had taken it and like smashed a couple of the mugs <laughs> but didn't, didn't do any damage to the rod so he said he might send me one of those I'm interested to see like, they used it like they were swinging it like a damn bat once he so walked away. So it's some tough crap. Yep. Somebody said, I missed it. Now, where did it go? Somebody said they wanted a whole handle in that stuff. I can do it, but it's going to increase the price. So. Right, right. The. I bought a small piece. And to make this for Clarence and Betty, and it was like 25 bucks alone. Ooh. Yeah, so it's not it's not just cheapo stuff. Put it this way. I told you I want to get uh, I've got him working on it. He makes this stuff himself and he's he's going to figure it out. But I want the white in the Americanas to glow like this. But I want it to be white in daylight, not that greenish hue. Oh, and, uh, yeah. So it'll be, it'll look normal, red, white, and blue in the daylight, but at night it'll glow like this. So he's working on that. And he said he can do it. Yep. He, he's, he said it'll take him a few tries to get it the white that he probably wants and to get enough. And it won't glow quite as bright. Being translucent, all the fibers are gaining the, the the light. Where once you add any kind of color, whether it's white or anything, it kind of dilutes it a bit. But right, so it won't be as brilliant. But he said it should still be good in the white because I considered doing red and blue. Yeah, but we're talking for the Americana inlay. Each one of those sheets, like. You saw that big piece I glued up that I can chop pieces out of to make. Each layer cost me about 10 to 12 bucks, depending on the color. The, for that same size of the glow material, it'll cost me about 80. Yeah. So it's, it's a question on my part whether I want to do it or not. I, I'm probably going to do a couple that I'm willing to pay, but I'm not going to buy a lot because they're not selling anyways. So I need to stop buying a bunch of material to uh, <laughs> make sweet stuff that no one's buying. Yeah. I mean, at a certain point you got to start getting some stuff sold before you go yep. more in depth with it. Yeah. And well, then, yeah. It continues the process, though. I'm finding new things and making new things and making it, you know, but. Yeah. Well, if it's anything like I've, you know, you keep at it and then just one day something clicks and then, you know, then you start seeing payoff to it. So just keep at working on them and getting the name out there, all that. Yeah, What'll happen is as soon as as soon as uh I get slammed with my pest control, everybody will want one. <laughs> yeah, it'll put you on double time. Yep, I won't I won't be sleeping anymore. I'll have to <laughs> Ari, Ari said, Welcome to the reality of custom working. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Or just doing anything. I always I always own. knew that. 
like those pharaoh rods, those were always made for friends and stuff in the groups. So I've been doing it for years. And then certain people will see one and want it. And like I said, if you look at that one I got, it's just an oak knob. The progression I've gone to different finishes and inlays and stuff. But people enjoy them. They think they're cool and they want one. But like I said, it. And like Gary said, it's custom, it's craft. I, my time is put into it. So that's why it costs a little bit. Right. Plus, I'm not getting any materials for free. Right. You got that right, Nemo. <laughs> All right. Let's run it for the the Royal. This is the Royal, and then we'll take a minute, and then we'll we'll uh. We'll we'll do something else, or we'll run the other one. I mean, oh, Ian Michael, that's Ginger Fisher. Congratulations, brother! I think I've sent you something before, but shoot me a message or um, shoot me a message or an email Andy just left a five month tag <laughs> five months hell yeah buddy thank you for being a member my man and knife nut hit us with one already nine months <laughs> yeah man you ain't kidding it, it has gone fast to think it's been it's been a little longer than a year since I started, um, but having the the member things for a year, that's crazy. All right, let's, I'll, I'll, yeah, congratulations, dude. You get the, uh, oh, you got to pick your Hank. Let me get it, or let me get the Hanks. Give me one moment. They ain't sitting right here with me. Hang on. I mean, they're here, but they're they're over here. Oh, you know. Take your word for it, Lone Star. Too. <laughs> I um. Put these back on. I still have. Uh, so I went through all of my stuff that I've gotten that I've put in this like various boxes that other people have sent in. So I got everything together in one box. Now I have stuff broken up into some bags, but we have the medium sized ferro rod yet to give away so i'm thinking we'll do something we'll do like one good size package for this coming saturday and put the ferro rod in there for like the main members giveaway and we'll do something i'll make everyone go like follow you on instagram or some crap or leave a comment on one of your Instagram posts. I think you can draw winners from comments on. We'll figure something out. Other platforms. I think. Yeah, I think you just got to put the URL in that you're going to. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'll check it out, Clarence. I don't know if I missed a message or something. I'm trying to scroll back, but I don't see anything. So a couple people found my first video. It's horrible. <laughs> eh, that's how it goes. That's how it goes, man. I'm going to refresh the members thing. That way, if anyone entered now, it'll pick them up as well. Um, 
And then, man, that's not bad though. It. If only your first video is horrible, I think all of my videos are horrible. So, like, I'd take just the first one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I have a ton of horrible videos. <laughs> Seventy-one. Okay, so we did get a few extra there. We got like five more. This will be for the send cut Kyrill. Um, we don't need an ad. Mokuso, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Twang coming in with 12 months. <laughs> Twelve months a year already. Good thing I sat these here because I almost forgot. My CMB predator bit me. Oh yeah. I'm just getting over <laughs> like three really bad ones, dude. I was being careless, and I spine whacked the knife, and it freaking smashed right on my pointer finger. I'd like, Ooh. I had picked it up, and I, instead of getting situated, I was like, I need to check this, and I checked it, and it failed, and it freaking gashed me good on my pointer finger. It's finally starting to go away. Which one was it? So, yeah, don't do that and be an idiot. I mean, I don't, like, I just do it if it cuts me. I'm not, it don't really, you know, it is whatever. <laughs> it don't bother me, I guess, to get cut. I mean, I'll try to do it, but if it happens, I'm not like, you know, it is whatever. <laughs> okay, so... Ginger, you still here? I don't want to waste my time doing this. Yeah, you're here. Okay. So, we got the Casino Royale, Hank, which I really like. The, I like them all, but this one's cool. And then it's got black carbon fiber. Uh, carbon fiber. <laughs> it's got, uh, Jesus, what is microfiber? And then... Uh, the Star Wars one, this has got navy blue and white stitching. That one's cool. Coffee. Coffee time with G-ball. Maroon and yellow stitching. If you're a fan of Chinese takeout. Uh, gray carbon fiber and white stitching. And then we got He's a full. Telling you to get ready, baby girl, because Mimo is hilarious. If you sub the Mimo, you're gonna black laugh on black. So, on yeah, Mimo is a freaking character. These three are mini, like mini EDC sizes that I kind of had a idea in for issuing stitches. This is a medium, and this is a large. So we got three sizes left. I'm going to have to try to get some more. Uh, I got to see if he wants a feral rod. See if we can barter. I'll send him a feral rod for one of those falcon uh, hands. Who? Uh, issuing stitches? Yeah. Hit him up, dude. Yeah. I'm sure he would. He would. I'm sure he would. He's an awesome dude. Um, yeah. Just say, yo, I. G Ball introduced me or uh, showed me your crap, and I make this crap. You want to trade crap, and <clears throat> we'll show each other's crap. G ball said I need to wipe my G balls with only these hanks. <laughs> um Ginger Fisher one. Did he answer? Or am I did I miss it? Oh, no loot today. I mean I can hang out a few extra minutes, but uh I think we have 
I or I have plans, I guess. You know how that goes. I think not sure we're doing anything tonight. Doug's traveling, but if uh backpack fires up the old stream, I'll I'll be on. Oh, all right. Well, Unless you want to host the uh, impromptu uh, Napaholics tonight. I was going to say, I might be able to hop on for a little bit. I don't know if I would make a good... My problem is I don't have access to the stream yard, so... Or I've never I mean... messed with it. Let me think. I wonder if there would be a way that I can... Just let you could just use mine. I mean, I don't know if you'd want to do it that way or not, but I don't know if I could be there the whole time. Otherwise, I'd say, yeah, I'll just, but I could even, you know, I don't know if there'd be a way to let you I'll check just into use it. I'll mine. message you. I know, uh, uh yeah. I know that's what Doug does. Doug and Backpack use one together. But there's oh, only really? so many people that can. Yeah, you can only use so many things together. So it's I can't get access to the codes. I wonder. Okay, I wonder. I think Backpack said he's going to be on, so that'll be cool having him back. But oh yeah, well if he if he comes back, he knows how to do all that crap. I mean. Right. Well, that's what I was right. saying. Yeah, he's got it all. It's whether or not he's able yeah. to make it. Oh, oh, okay. I see. Yeah, he won't ever know until the time is right there, that moment, <laughs> for a little yep. while. Anyway, you might think that you'll be good to go, but uh, the 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 babies sometimes the have kids other have plans. other opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza so Ginger make a choice that? yet? I don't see it. Oh, I guess I haven't been looking oh, he, for it. He, but what do you say? He I says forgot. I'm here. What's up? Bye, Fook. Bye, Fook. I think Fook's leaving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Ginger Fisher don't even know that he won yet. I don't think <laughs> he didn't. I think he he missed it. He asked, "What's up?" Oh, he's Joel here now. Shambo. Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay. Pick your Hank. I, I saw him comment, so I thought he's probably, he might be have it on, but he might not, you know, be listening or whatever the hell. Or he was doing something at the time. I do that all the time. I'll When I'm in the shop, I usually have an earbud yeah. in listening to somebody, but. Yeah. I'm the same way. I, well, I'm the opposite, though. I'll put, like, if I'm here at the table, I'll put somebody's live on my laptop, but I won't be listening much. You know, it's more watching and reading comments. Like, I'll be in between a video or something, and that's usually when I pop in, you know, and say, what's up or whatever. But, uh... I don't do a whole yeah, lot of I tell, listening if, anymore. If I'm not saying hi to people, it's because I'm lurking and I'm probably working, not even looking at the screen. Yeah. T-Fetch, what's up, dude? Uh, Dugan, what's up, dude? Um, So, wait, which one did you pick, did you say? Or didn't you see him? Full-size alien? He was pooping. He, he was doing a victory poop. Medium-sized Chinese takeout. And then I got three EDC ones left size. They're the smallest ones. Coffee with G-Ball. It's not actually coffee with G-Ball. It's just coffee. And then uh, casino, you know. And then Star Wars. Just off the name alone, the 
the medium sized Chinese takeout. <laughs> <laughs> One medium sized Chinese takeout, please. Yo, KC is if when I if I see him at uh uh Blade Show, man. I'm gonna shave his head. He's always stepping on my toes, man. Always. Yeah, that's right, dude. That's that's kind of a staple. But one thing I can say is I went out and got these. Now, these aren't that cheap, but this seems to hold up very, very well. This is a T6, and this it's a whole, this is the entire thing. Uh, and it has held up very, very well. This is all I've used for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, and I don't know if they do these differently or what's different, if anything, but this thing lasts for a while, so... If you're looking for just a primary six, and I like it because sometimes those bits will kind of twist around sometimes in those drivers, especially, but when this moves, the, the entire thing is moving at once. So you can feel things a lot easier with it too. At least I feel like that. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you can think something's moving, but really it's just your bit is starting to get wrenched on. And you think, oh, it's the it's the actual torque screw that's moving, but really you're just starting to strip the shit out of your You know what screw. else is really nice? I have a couple like that and I like the actual ones. It feels more I know what you're saying. You're not you feel like you got a better Yeah uh connection like but uh Yes, a, yeah, that's exactly right. That off grid one, that's still going strong. I haven't stripped that yet. That T6. You tell that, me, dude. Uh, they both actually have black carbon fiber. So. Lone Star brought what? up a point. He said if you do the Chinese takeout, you'll have to poop again in an hour. I mean, <laughs> I might take that chance because I might try to get some tonight. <laughs> It's been a while since I've had any Chinese takeout. I could go for some rice. But they're both cool, dude. One's just a large, one's a medium. You tell me. They both will go good with the the Royal. So they'll both go good. Pizza operator, what's up, buddy? Member of the hey, G Ballers. Have you gotten any of those little real steel tools that they send? Those damn things work good, too. Yeah, you're going to have another one, too, coming. Oh, is there one in that with the knife? Yep, yep. Um, and I need to make sure that it's in there, too, because... Oh, and we're going to have... I, I have a couple of those, actually. And we're going to have one of those to give away at some point. Yeah, I need to make sure it's in your... Okay, so that one's yours. Or this one's yours. Okay. I knew I took it uh, off. Check out the... that off-grid uh, bit driver. I think you'd like it. I, I want to get one of those. I don't need it, but I want to get one just to try it. Their, but I typically... their bits are guaranteed for life. At least that's what they this... say. This is my T8 driver. Like, I use this strictly for T8s. It used to be my T6 driver. But even still, it just... It might not be twisting in there, but it feels like it's... It does. It has, like, a tiny, tiny bit of this, like, movement. And you can start... You can almost think, oh, I'm getting the bit or the screw... But really, it's just this starting to spin, and you have already probably stripped your screw, you know. Um, and then my other in my vibrate, just... I carry daily. I carry one of these. 
It's the Boker Bit Pen. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a Kershaw one similar to that. And uh, it's got the dual sided bits. Perfect for doing like your that. pivots and stuff. And you can write. But I'm pissed because, like always, the T6 is no good anymore. I contacted Boker. I'm like, hey, can I buy a bit? No, nope, you have to send us your whole pen. <laughs> like, I don't want to send you the whole damn pen. I don't want them to send me a new pen. I like the way that it's worn down and it's patinaed now. I don't want to warranty my pen to get a bit. Yeah. Mm. I, yeah, that so if sucks, you ever dude. find a double headed in that size, let me know because I haven't been able to find them. Okay, I got you, dude. Take out, he said. <laughs> yeah, that one's cool, dude. <laughs> uh, I'll wrap the the Kubi up so that is. I can't believe the makes... Falcon's still hanging around. Oh, the the Star Wars? The Millennium Falcon, yeah. You know, he makes those, I'm pretty sure, in the full size, the big one, too. Yeah, I might have to talk to him. As a matter of fact, a bit of a he, does. he does. He does. That, that was an original design that he just moved. I'm almost 100% sure I've given away a full size one just like this I, i'm almost positive um but yeah I, i'm pretty sure he's got i don't know if he's still doing all three sizes or not that's not something i've looked at in a little bit but uh he's another guy that i've said hey man the more options you have the the better you know so I, that's why i was like i think the small ones in you know in line with your two other sizes i think you know it's a good move it's just more options for people you know those big ones are great when you're at home and you're doing stuff but like those yeah. small ones are way better than putting your pocket yeah exactly they both i like them both like you said one for around the house or in the truck or something those are awesome or you need something decent sized in like a like your uh backpack or something Perfect i mean let's be that. realistic we all need the big ones for when we're laying out our pocket dump to take the picture you know <laughs> yeah, or you that. don't want all your i carry too much shit to put it on a little hank you won't even see the hank so you got to have the big one for that but when it comes down to actually wiping off a blade or something the small one's just fine i quit um Sometimes I'll incorporate like the corner, like the very corner of the hank, maybe a little bit more, but I quit doing that for some reason. I felt like the pictures just didn't look that good. You know what I mean? Like when I would do a picture yep. with, with the hank, it just feel like it didn't, it didn't look that good. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about adding something in with the Cairo. So if you get a surprise in your package, um, well, you might get a surprise if I can figure something out. Ready? Three, two, one. Medlin! Medlin! I think uh, he had to head out. I'll have to figure out how to get a hold of him. Medlin's one. I got to keep this stuff straight or I'm going to forget. I had to, there's been like twice now I've had to watch. I guess I didn't have to watch the whole stream, but there's been times I've had to rewatch streams because I forget to write shit down. Or if I do write it down, I can't remember where I wrote it down and I'll have to figure out who won. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, congratulations to Medlin. I'm pretty sure he's a new uh, member, too. 
a newer member. Okay, so Medlin's getting the Kyrill. Yeah, here's your, here's your real steel uh, thingamajig. I have yours. Where the freak is my mouse? Um, There's yours. Uh, I have to put it in your box, but I have your envelope and everything. Uh, I just don't have it taped up yet. I have it all ready. I just don't have it taped. So it's a good thing because I got to put that in there. Where the fuck? Oh, there it is. I'm going to say where did I just put it. Dang, Ross, member of the G-Ballers. What's up? Well, yeah, it sucks, guys, when you don't win. That's the good thing, though. I'm going to I'm going to try to keep doing them every every weekend. If you run short, I got stuff I can hand out. All right. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Um, yeah, it comes in like well, and then I I'll, I'll put my like something from my collection in, but it kind of like comes in waves like I won't have any stickers and then a couple people send a bunch of stickers in, and then I'm covered on stickers for a little while and then you know, just everything kind of has its flows. But yeah, that would be cool, man. Any anytime anyone anyone ever wants to give something away, I'd be happy to do it. I got lots of budget stuff that I'm not carrying, and I don't like selling it because you don't really get anything. I mean, might as well give it away. Yeah, I mean. Wow. Hell, you could use that stuff to kind of grow your your uh, IG page, though, too, man. You could do host uh, some giveaways, man. You know, follow your channel, leave a comment, all that crap. So Once I get Dougie up and monetized, I might do stuff. I want to get him... He's getting close. He does way more, way more content stuff than I do. Probably. I have everything. I have the ideas of stuff to do. I just, it makes it too much like work then. I just like making shit when I'm actually like feel like it. Like, oh, this is cool. Take a video, post it. Right, I don't know how you do it, dude. You put so much damn time in all these videos. Like between my pest control and the other stuff I do, I just I don't think I could commit to it like that. Yeah. Sometimes I think I need my head examined. You're you're striking the pharaoh on both ends. <laughs> yeah. Like hands down. I mean, T Fetch, I don't need or want stickers, but they're cool to throw into like people's, you know, giveaway packages and, and whatnot. So if you have a pile of stickers and you're never going to use them, I'll take them. That way, new people or people who don't have much, like I have a ton of stickers. I just don't have m many to give Here away. Here he says he's got some coming to you. Oh, yeah, cool. You got oh, any sweet. of Doug's? Broke ass? No. No, no. I think he... I I thought he said he was going to send some. Maybe... No, I got a bunch of Dugan. I got a bunch from BEEDC. I don't think I got anything from him. If he doesn't get you some, I'll give you some. He sent me a stack. The last time he sent me something, so I've been handing them out. Oh, knife nut got something. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> Damn, I asked you three times, man. What'd you get? Did 
The CRKT driver is not bad. They then Kershaw has the cheap that cheapo, which I keep it in my Molly attachment visor thing in my truck, but it's a Kershaw. I have two of those. Yep. Yeah. They're they're nice just to have as like a, an emergency thing. I think um, they're what, like twelve bucks? Yeah, they're very inexpensive. That's a that would be a high, high recommend for you know, getting everything you need in one shot. Yeah. For a, for a long time, I just had two of them. I had one that was holding the T6 and one that was holding my T8. So I could just not have to. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. I still think for the price, though, that off-grid is the best thing for the bug. Yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> it'll it'll be uh, interesting to see if they do warranty the bits, but I haven't even needed like. And since I got that one, if I have a T six, that's the one I grab because I want to see how long it lasts, if it strips out, and then I also want to see if they actually do warranty the bits. Yeah, I wonder what the process is. I wonder, like, uh, I wouldn't see them making you send the bit back, but I guess it's possible. You know what I mean? Or would they just send you a new bit? If they want it, I mean, I don't care. Maybe they can melt it down and make new ones. Who knows? But. Well, well, I mean, maybe they would, they use them for like, uh, what would you want to say? Like seeing what happened to it and, and why and all that crap to make their stuff, you know, better. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they just send you one when you say, Hey, I have a feeling that's it. probably what they do. If you say it, they probably send you a bit pack or something. Yeah. I mean, they might maybe they have you send you a, a picture so they know you actually have one or something, or do they make you fill out a warranty card or something on their website? I don't know. It did nothing came with it saying you needed to fill anything out, and I bought it on Amazon. So I'll cross yeah, that I, road when I cross that. You know, contact. I think, I think that's them though. Google. I I think that's. The Amazon off-grid knives, I think that's still directly through them, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Directly yeah, I think that's the only place that their main selling platform, I think, is Amazon. Yeah. Sorry, Casey, member of the g Balls. What's up, buddy? Ten minutes till Roll Shambo going live. Perfect timing, then. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm going to go get a snack, I think, and some coffee. I'm going to make some fresh coffee. So have, well, let me know what's going on for tonight. If Backpacks does it or is planned on doing it, either way, it, you know, maybe he creates one and sends a link. And then if he can't yeah, do it. Yeah, it'll be then... in the chat regardless. If he puts it in a different chat or anything, I'll put it over in the uh, fellowship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. And then that way I might be able to pop on for a little bit. Yep. If you Any uh, parting words? If you do get on, make sure you message in chat because uh, I can't see backstage. And if Brent's not paying attention, you'll be sitting there forever. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Maybe uh, tonight, Tori, uh, what is it? 10 15, right? Yep. 9 15. 10 15. 10 15. 10, 10 15 Eastern. Yeah, that's uh, Big Doug, Brent, Brian. Sometimes I go yeah. on there. Sometimes, uh, sometimes Lou. There's, 
Yeah, Luke. Other guests. Other guests. Uh, so ten fifteen. Won't be any. Won't be any big Doug tonight. He's uh traveling. But if I had parting words, it would be uh, if you have any Kydex or want something custom made, hit up uh, that guy on Instagram, Surprise Holster Works, Cal Morgan. Dude's awesome. Does some, Makes killer does stuff. Good. Yeah. Yeah, and if you want uh, a ferro rod that you can put on that holster, hit up Brian. Because now you have, not only you have the ferro rods, but you also have the holsters too. Right? Yeah, I have these things. So. So you can get a whole I package. Yep. Yeah. So. I have some done up already, but if you're already contacting him and you want it to match identical, I would get it from him. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if he's already building you a topographic one, I probably don't have the same topo, you know, yeah. sitting around. I have just base colors. So then you'd probably want it. But if it's orange or black, green, I have most of those. Uh are you able to put that in the chat? Uh, yeah, I'll find it. I'll get his link. It, yeah, might as well throw yours in there, too. Surprise Holster Works. Yep. Cal Morgan. Yeah, I definitely want one of them, a uh, couple of them holsters. The other thing, too, is he's a... Uh, First responder, veterans, everything. I mean, he, you can't. He's a solid dude. Now, that's not the same dude that makes the glow in the dark crap, though, right? That's a different guy. No, he's in Mich. That guy's out of Michigan. So, uh, surprise holster work is in Oregon. Oh, okay, okay. Did you put up a link, or am I still grabbing it? Did you find it? Oh, I think Mimo did it. Oh no! Oh, I did he cool. put up Mimo? Mimo, he put up my you... Yeah, there's Brian's, so you can pick up a ferro rod, or they people can contact you through Instagram too. Yep. So either one, you, you can hit him up on Instagram or Etsy. But Mimo, can you put up um, what is it again? I'll grab it. I just, I almost, I had it. I should have just kept going, but I thought you said it was there and I shut down my Instagram. Surprise holsters. Yep. Surprise holster works. All one word. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll remember it eventually. See you, TZ. See ya, everybody. We'll be back on Monday night. We'll be back on Crappy Monday. Crappy Mondays, man. Later, Blade Walker. You suck it, Mike. You sucker. <laughs> So I just pasted right. his Etsy shop, it, which is going to confuse everybody because it's called Liberty Liberty Tree Glory Days. <laughs> and then now I'll get his uh, Instagram yeah. page too. Brian, Brian, or er, Brian, Ross put it up, uh, his uh, IG. So there, there's IG cool. and There you Etsy. go. You got both of them. And then Brian's is up top there.
There you go, everybody. We're Don Blade, but a couple people wanted links to stuff, so we we just hung out till we got them up. But we're at, we're out. We're out of here. I'm gonna go get a snack. Yeah, dude. This and, thing and some copy. Yeah, he does some nice That's looking so work. Yeah, dude. I'll I'll have to figure out. I'll have to figure out something I want to get one for and. Maybe I'll have him do me an SE or something. Yeah, he's getting a ton of stuff. He's going hog, getting a bunch of knives, so he's already got the molds, he, so you don't even have yeah. to send them to him. Yeah, that's why I figured, too, a common, something real common that he would definitely have the, the mold for. That way, it's just less. If you look at one of these, dude, I think you'd like this thing. you like the bigger one. You'd like this. Yeah. And yeah, I might have to he's already got, one. he's got that on lockdown. So yeah, I might have to just do that one. All right, everybody. We will catch you guys Monday. I'll probably be on at like five thirty, five forty five, something like that. Depends on work, but, uh, five forty five at the latest I'll be on Monday and, uh, have a good weekend. Cool. Take it easy, everybody. Um, what someone said, I need to update the inventory. What's on there are just ones that I pre-made. Um, I was originally going to do custom, but that doesn't work. People don't want to sit there and pick stuff out and try to communicate that much. So I put some pre-made ones up on there, but then like the line I'm making so that you can always get a G-ball line, which is the oak with my car to top. And then, uh, or Americana, you just got to message me and tell me what size you want. And then I haven't done the glow yet. The material's pricey, and I've just got a sample size. So this is the uh, prototype, and these this is going to Clarence and Betty. So. All right. Yeah, he's working on it, though, so. You can always get one. All right, guys. Sharp guy. Later, buddy. Mark, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Rossi, all, everybody. Love you all. I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks, Brian.